children and welcome to week 26 of Draw and Paint for Life. This has been an amazing year. It's spring now here in Chicago and we are looking at the um, pigment color orange in the color box, which is such a beautifully vibrant color and the work of Keith Haring, who um, is an American artist. He died young at the age of 31 and he was a beautiful, gentle soul, which is perfect because we're looking at the animal, the deer, which is such a gentle, beautiful animal. So let's get right into it. So glad you're here. Thank you. So here's my tracing pages. I did my tracings of the deer from um, our, uh, the art book for the week. And I thought it was so much fun. There's so many specific little characteristics. And this is the little sweet little deer that I'm going to draw in a minute. just want to kind of review this with you. This is your art book for the week. And here are the, um, the colors. This is what happens when you mix orange with black. It makes kind of, actually makes like an umber color, an earth color with white. It goes kind of a melon color with blue. Interestingly enough, it goes brown. And with yellow, it becomes more intensely orange. And with red, it becomes kind of almost like a cherry color. Quite gorgeous. So and here's a little beautiful picture of Keith Haring, a YouTube video, and um, there's your art book. So this is the deer that I'm going to draw. And here's the magic page where you get to draw whatever you'd like. So let's get started and um, drawing the deer. One second, let's just look at it one more time. And you know when you draw it, when you trace it here and then switch to the drawing, you can look at it at any time. It's not like, um, you you know, that's cheating or anything. So, because I actually have it kind of off to the side and look at it. Um, I've drawn it a couple of different times and I decided to start with the ears. So, this is the, its forehead and the deer has these beautiful ears. And you know, you could actually go over to the forest preserve and walk through and chances were pretty good that you would actually see a deer, which is so cool, isn't it? So it's little face, oops, I'm gonna erase that. It's little face, it kind of just has like this sweet little face like that and a couple of eyes up here and a nose. Okay. And then this comes down to its neck and let's bring you down a little bit closer. And then this is its body. And what happens is it has a back, but then it has this really powerful haunch. And this is where it gets all of its power when it runs. And it has a tail that kind of goes up. It's a little bit softer than that though, okay? So you bring it down, a little hump here. And then its back leg has this little crook. And then it goes down. So this comes over this way and meets the hoof. And then this is very kind of almost a gentle shape. We'll put a little hook on it, okay? And then this goes, connects here, very much like the dog. Okay. And the front leg comes down in like this. So I'm going to drop this leg too, and like that. And then this connects here, and that goes down. And then this comes out this way. So there's our deer. All right, um, on to the video about Keith Herring. People who commit graffiti often share two things in common, anonymity and a lack of talent. But now Charles Osgood reports one subway artist is making a name for himself somewhere besides the police blotter. He stalks the New York City subways waiting for his chance to strike. When the opportunity comes, he moves fast. He has to. Opportunity for Keith Herring is a blank advertising poster. Using a piece of chalk, the young man from Kutztown, Pennsylvania, draws a picture, a cartoon-like drawing, which he finishes in a minute or two, 
and then moves on. He may do as many as 30 such drawings in a day, all different, but all the same in certain ways. He puts them down here so that millions can see them, and millions do. It was made for lots of people. You don't have to know anything about art to appreciate it or to look at it. There aren't any um, hidden secrets or, or um, things that you're supposed to understand. But he's got to be careful, because technically what he's doing is illegal graffiti. He could be arrested. Sometimes he is arrested. I'm going to arrest for graffiti in the subway. Herring doesn't think he is defacing anything. He believes it is art. And many subway riders seem to agree. But the law is the law. For Herring, the arrest is always short-lived, and it's worth the temporary humiliation for him, because he wants ordinary people, subway riders, to see his stuff. Is it art? Well, upstairs, outdoors, there doesn't seem to be any question about it. He's done murals like this one on the Bowery. And you'll often find Herring working on paintings that look for all the world like those subway drawings. This big one, for all its size, only took him a couple of hours to do. Here, too, he works fast. I, mean, I think it's more important to make a lot of different things and keep coming up with new images and things that were never made before than to do one thing and do it, do it well. They come out fast, but, I mean, it's a fast world. And so fast has Keith Herring caught on in this fast world that now he has a one-man show at a gallery in Soho. Here are the same images, the cookie-cutter men, babies, hearts, dolphins, and spaceships. Only now, it is the art world looking on. They think it's art, all right. Beautiful. I can't get over it. Look at the South. I'm a Southern painter. Mom. Thank you. Herring has become a hot property. They ooh and they ah. Downstairs is unbelievable. I want to buy a few of these little wooden things. And they pay plenty. $15,000 for that two-hour special we saw him working on. Within the first few days of the show, about a quarter of a million dollars worth of his pieces sold. Not bad for a 24-year-old kid from Kutztown. But even though he now gets fancy prices for a lot of his work, still, every chance he gets, it's back down into the subway system, looking furtively around to make sure the coast is clear. And then, going to it. Art for the people. All for the price of a subway token. Charles Osgood, CBS News, New York. And that's the CBS Evening News for this Wednesday. Day and rather reporting from New York. Thank you for joining us. Good night. I hope you enjoyed that. Isn't it kind of interesting looking at videos of artists who there's actual footage of them and their work? He was such a beautiful, generous soul and left the planet too early. Look at how he just wanted his art to be everywhere. And you know, you can do the same thing. There's so many outlets nowadays for your artwork. And as you grow up, you can put them all over social media and make people happy. So I can't wait to see what you're going to do. Have a great week, and I'll see you soon. Thanks so much. Bye.